Now, listen carefully. Why you need to be connected to your pastor? Why every believer need to be in a church? Oh, Pastor Rambabu, you're saying it because you have a church now. No, 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 no. Even before I became a pastor, as an evangelist, I was a part of the church in Bellarine. I was under Pastor Srinivas first, then I was under Pastor Anil first, both are my spiritual sons, but I was there in the church. I was a member of a church. I was always a part of a church. Everyone, you need a pastor. Why? What happens? When you are under God-assigned pastor, when God-assigned pastor, what will happen? This should tell you whether you're in the right church or not, okay? Now, put the scripture. Next word. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass... When you multiplied, increased in the land. When you connected the God sent pastor, it will come to pass. What happened? You will increase and multiply. If you see an increased multiplication in your life, then you should know this is a pastor. After coming come connected to this man, I'm increasing, multiplying. This is the one. I've been, I've been taught in the knowledge and understanding. I'm increasing, I'm multiplying. Then this is the place I'm supposed to be in. Hello, put a message Bible, please. <clears throat> and this is what will happen. You will increase and prosper in the land. Amen. Hallelujah. See, this is what I mean. See, divine assignments. When you connect to the man sent by God, and in the, you are in the church, first of all, number one, you come to the house of God, which is the church of the living God, pillar and foundation of truth, number one. Number two, you connect to the pastor that are sent by God. When it happens, multiplication starts in your life. Amen. Why? Things will fall into place because you're going in line with the constitution of the word of God. Hallelujah. Are you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you, church, if you listen to what I'm teaching these days, this will make things easy for you like Aaron was telling me the other day. <clears throat> Aaron said, sir, it's so easy. If at all people can come, sit in the church, listen to what you say and do it, life will be easy. Hallelujah. That's what Aaron told me. You know, life will be so easy when you do this. <laughs> Look at that. <clears throat> Number one. So now, secondly, you know, multiplication happens. Number two. Number one, assign, I'm telling you what divine assignments. Number one, first assignment is God assigns pastors to you. Yes. Number two, God assigns teachers to you. Yes. Hello? Yes. I don't know how to tell you. The, the, the Christianity is so messed up. Everybody says ministry, 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 ministry. Ministry is important. But not at the expense of neglecting the church. I want the Coke bottle, but I hate Coke factory. Hello? I love mango. I hate mango trees. How stupid it is. I love ministry, but I hate the church that births the ministries. Look at the scripture. <clears throat> now, God assigns teachers. Come with me. To book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20 Isaiah 30 20 and the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction yet shall not your teachers be removed in a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers Amen. hallelujah God wants your eyes to see the teachers every believer need a teacher Every believer need a pastor and pastors should be teachers. Why? A pastor should teach with knowledge and understanding. That's why if you read Ephesians 4, I told you. Ephesians 4, 11, please. And he gave some, everybody says some apostles. I didn't say it. Come everybody, some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers is not there. Hello. Some teachers is not there. Look at them. That means some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. That means a pastor should be a teacher also. 
a pastor should learn to teach the word to the congregation he must be able to lead the people with wisdom and understanding if you are going to a church where somebody a pastor is an evangelist who does not know to teach then all that you know is john 316 in your life all that is john 316 in your life you don't know anything else <clears throat> there are many believers i'm telling you you meet some believers in bangalore they don't even know what happened to them when they're saved they don't know what is salvation they don't know what jesus did for them they don't know what is new to new covenant old covenant they don't know any difference why teaching is not there look at what isa book i'll go to isa again by your eyes shall see your teachers See, that's what he's saying. In Ephesians 4, we read, you know, he gave apostles, prophets, whether you like it or not. Every believer needs this five-fold ministry. Amen. Why? Go back to Ephesians 4 again. Ephesians 4, 11 again. And he gave some apostles. Everybody, some apostles, say with me. <laughs> say with some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. You know, this is how when we were young, they taught us to remember. They, they, when we were young, they taught us to remember. This is what we're teaching everybody how to remember. We were taught like this. And how to remember five-fold ministry. Everybody say, apostles, <coughs> prophet, <coughs> evangelist, <coughs> pastor, <coughs> teacher. How to remember? Number one, apostle, thumbs. You know, you use a thumb to put a stamp of approval. <coughs> Governing. <coughs> so apostles are the people who govern. Right? Apostle. Next verse, number two, prophets. Prophet, this finger, direction. Prophet. Number three, evangelist. Look at outreach. The tallest one. Evangelist. Number four, pastor. Wedding ring. Number five, teacher. Then you back in a way to something in the ear. You put this finger. You don't put this finger. You this finger. You don't put this finger. You don't put your toe. You put this one. Why? Teachers put the word inside. So now easy. What is this? Number. One love and like once again. One last time. So easy to remember. Now, what's the purpose of this ministry? Listen carefully. Why, why Christianity failed? Why church is not doing what you're supposed to do? It's because these five ministries, number one, people don't want these five ministries. Number two, these five ministries are not doing what they're supposed to do. What are they supposed to do? Read the next verse. <clears throat> he gave them, put an navy, please. Put an navy. To prepare God's people for the work of the ministry. The fivefold ministry is not only supposed to do ministry to prepare the believers to do the ministry. But what happens is today, these fivefold ministries do the ministry, others only watch it. Pastor will say, Hey, church, come to church, sit down and go. Don't think about ministry. No, the purpose of fivefold ministry is to equip the saints to do the ministry. Hello, accusant ministry so that the body of Christ may be built up. You see, when the people of God do the ministry, body of Christ is built up. Amen. For people to do ministry, people of God should have a fivefold ministry in their life. <clears throat> and see, you should have a fivefold ministry in your life, the fivefold ministry should equip you. When this to happen, you do the ministry. When you do the ministry, body of Christ is built up. Look at the next verse. Until we reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, become mature, attain to the whole measure of fullness of Christ, continue. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves, blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning craftiness of men in the deceitful scheming. When you have the fivefold ministries in your life, when you, when you are trained by these fivefold ministries, then you will not be infants or like a tossed by every wave and every wind. If you go to Kerala, you see coconut trees. 
When the wind blows this side, tree grows this side. When the wind goes this side, this side. When you go this side, when you go this side, this side. Toss with every wind. People, <coughs> you come and you go attend one meeting. Grace, hallelujah, I believe in grace. Law, hallelujah, I believe in law. God makes you sick. Yes, God heals you. You don't know what you believe. With every wind of doctrine, you draw, you go here. Why? You are not a part of a church. And in the church, fivefold ministry is not there. Some pastors want only pastors' ministry to come. They don't want any evangelistic ministry, healing miracles to happen. Why? Even healing miracles happen, people will all appreciate evangelism. So pastors become insecure. What happens is that since you don't bring fivefold ministry in the church, the church is not grown fully. Believers are not grown fully. They have only one side. But when you have the fivefold ministry in the church, God assigned this fivefold ministry in the church so that when you are a part of a church where the fivefold ministry operates, the body of Christ is built up, then you will not be infant tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Hallelujah. That is why fivefold ministry is needed in the church. That's why God assigns pastor to you. God assigns teachers to you. Let's go back to Isaiah 30 again. <clears throat> but your eyes will see your teachers. Continue, next verse. And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right, when you turn to the left. When you have teacher teaching the word of God, when you walk in your life, you will hear the voice, hey, 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 that's not where to go by. This is where to go by. The teaching of the word will give you direction. This is the way. Go by it. When you turn to the right, you get direction. Turn to the left, you get direction. Why? The word has been spoken to you. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Number one. <clears throat> Let's see. Number one, God assigns pastor. Number two, God assigns teachers. Continue, verse 22 again. You shall defile also covering of the grave in image, silver and ornament, the malt in image, gold. You shall cast them off as a monstrous cloth. You shall say unto them, Get thee hence. Then shall he give them rain of your seed. You shall sow in the ground with all, bread of the increase of the earth. It shall be fat and plenteous in that day. Shall the cattle feed in the law. Look at that. Every time you fall into God's assignment of God sent pastor, God sent teacher, prosperity is the result. Prosperity result because of that. <clears throat> Look at that. And it shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall the cattle feed and the large pastures. Continue. The oxen likewise and the young asses that ear the ground shall eat clean provender, which has been winnowed with the shovel, with the fan. And there shall be upon every high mountain, upon every high hill, river, streams of water in the day of the great slaughter when the tower falls. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. Light of the sun shall be sevenfold, light of the seven. In that day, the Lord bind up the breaches of his people, heal the stroke of their wounds. See that? Divine assignments are needed in life. Why is it many believers are suffering? <clears throat> Number one, they are, don't believe in a church. Many ministries are there. Which church you go to? I'm independent in ministry. You are a failure. Let me tell you, independent ministry may do thousand things tomorrow. When you stand before God, none of them will be rewarded. God won't reward you what you do. God reward you what you did according to what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why independent church, I don't go to any church. I pray on Saturday, Lord, show me which church to go. Like any husband praying, which, which is your house? I don't know. I'll pray, Lord, where, I, where I should go. Each Sunday I go to one house. Wife saying, each Sunday I go to one house. There's a commitment needed. Amen. Commitment needed. Hallelujah. Commitment is needed. <clears throat> Number one, say with me, say with me, divine assignments. Number one, say with me. Number one, God assigns pastors. Number two, God assigns teachers. Number three. 
God assigns place of worship. Again, uh, which church you go to, Divya? Na mane bagile ke church chetre ke uktil na. My house, next door to my house, I'll go. Why long distance Allah? I'll go next door. Now listen again. You cannot go to choose a church because it's next door to your house. Choose a church because God knows that's a place assigned for you. Amen. That's a place assigned for you. That's the pastor assigned for you. That's a teacher assigned for you. That's a church assigned for you. It doesn't matter if you have to travel on full day. Do it because that's a place assigned for you. Hallelujah. 